Yo, it is good, yo, it's your boy Ty, back here with another episode of our No Money Spent Squad series. Now, I've been kind of on in between, right? I've been in between grinding limited this season and focusing on some other things this season. Because here's my, here's a prime example. Would I rather have a Dan Marley card at shooting guard when the shooting guard position is already so souped? Or would I rather take that time and grind for a guy like Calvin Nett? That's really kind of the debate, and I do think I'd rather grind for Calvin. So, as far as Dan Marley is concerned, he's solid. And if you do get him, you're probably going to enjoy the card. But I just think there's bigger and better things for me to focus on this season. One of those things is not going to be Allen Iverson, though. Until 250K is over, and then I basically do this as my main account. I just have a hard time seeing me ever grind for a for a level 40 card unless they're like, you know, my favorite player, like a Carl Anthony Towns or something crazy like that. So back into clutch time today, just for a little while, just to see. I might play my first unlimited game later. We're going to get at least a couple games in here and just see if I can't get Michael Red. Now, as we dive into our episode today, if you are new to the channel and have not yet, please consider smashing that subscribe button as we're on the road. 280,000 subscribers. So I like running Matumbo just in this because I, I mean, it says it's a regular size court, but I feel like the court is a little, that's so deep. I feel like the court is a little bit smaller and Matumbo just protects my rim. I mean, it's literally what Matumbo does. He's a literal rim protector chill. That look good. Oh wait, I forgot about the low shot clocks. Get it up, just get it up, just get it up. I'll take it. I forgot about the low shot clocks. It's going to take me a while, and it's just going to take a while to adjust to the difference between clutch time and my team unlimited, in which one mode, it seems like you have an eternity to make up your decision. And in clutch time, you got to really go get a quick bucket. I mean, that's a good shot by Wang, though. Game just started, and the graphic just popped up saying first lead tonight. That's crazy. Look at my... Matumbo, man, I'm playing you for a reason. And what should have been a rebound, you tipped the ball. That is wild to me. But boy, it's wild. Literally would add a free board and you decide to tip it. I'm not trying to lose a game of this all season long. So can y'all please, you know, get back. Get back into where y'all need to be at. Thank you, Matumbo. Chick, I love you, Dikembe. I know a lot of people are sleeping on you still to this day. I'm not one of you. I love you. Ten Hall of Famers is crazy. I just got to stop leaving him because he just wants to sit there with Wang and shoot the entire game. So I just got to stop leaving him in general. Good. Come on. Lock in a little bit. You're, you're getting three points, but you're giving three up as well. And that's not what, that's not what we should be doing. You shot. You just greened a four-pointer with Marcus Smart. I'm 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 sitting here so stunned. Green a four-pointer with him is crazy. I get it if you green a three-pointer, but a four-pointer from that deep with him, and I guess. I'm about to I'm getting really popped. This dude just his team isn't even like that, and I'm just out here getting absolutely dogged. Yes, shoot a midi, I guess. Okay, come on, lock in. You're only down four right now. That's not my steal? Crazy. Thank you. Please grab it. Thank you. Please. Thank you. It's a three, but I'll take it. Finally, we're back in the picture because he turned the ball over. Thank goodness. Yes, sir, AK. Y'all are starting to hoop a little bit. Please go in. Thank you. Look at Dikembe. You guys are like, oh, Ty Dikembe. Dikembe's the bet. He literally is so tough. 66 speed, 64 speed. I don't care. He's tough. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Just like that, we got our lead. Ward. Thank you, Ron. Get the ball to James. Uh-oh. 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 One thing about that release. It's good. It's, it's easy to time, easy to green. It's tough to get off, though. It's one thing about that release, I will say. It's tough. It is tough to get off. Mm 
Let it snow, oh my goodness, let it Eric snow, snow. You ain't got to do my mans like that. This dude is innocent. He ain't do nothing wrong to you, Eric. Why you got to... Why you gotta knock down a shot like that? That is crazy. Oh yeah, Eric Ron. Yes, sir. The Kenbe Matumbo has got 10 points. You don't got badge yet? Anybody got badge? It doesn't look like it. Oh yeah, the Kenbe. Why are they disrespecting you? I gotta green that one. That's me. Could have greened it. My fault. Come on, just get a stop. I need, I, I need all the wins I can get. So just get a stop. This is the first like in limited. I obviously just get mad at playing. That's another reason. If you enjoy playing limited, you can. I just get mad when I play limited. And part of having a successful no money spent is having fun playing the game. And so that's something I'm trying. That's something I'm trying to uh, do a little bit just better job of is having fun playing the game. Because a lot of times in Limited, I do get upset. So we're at least going to play one more game. I hate spending money on contracts. And y'all probably should just buy contracts. But that just takes more time. We're going to play at least one more game today. There's no way Splash is sitting on this game at 9 in the morning doing settings. That is crazy, Splash. That is crazy. I thought I'd seen it all, and then I see Splash Edition at, at 9 in the morning sweating. That's crazy. I do need to get the Timberwolves City uh, City jerseys for this account, just because those jerseys are so soup. Come on, Eric. Oh, that's my fault. Show me why I run this duo, Eric Snow. Like, you're the reason I run this duo, because of how good you become on defense. So, make it make that known. On Dikembe, it's crazy. I'm good, 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 great, 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 great job, great job, guys. That's that's great. That is just all around fantastic. Come on, come on, y'all are good. Good, Eric. Good, Eric. Y'all are good. What you gonna do with the Giannis? That's awful run. He was trying to mash me in this mode. Hey man, you can mash me and you're still not gonna win, even if you are successful at it. Cause oh my goodness, that's not even you. That's your CPU. But just because I can get three and fours on the other end, you can mash me all day long and you're still not going to win the game. But it's crazy that that's his offense. Yeah, every, every single possession is the same thing. He's just trying to mash. Five seconds. His possessions are so short. Like the possessions are just so short. Because by the time you get a rebound, it's like, what am I supposed to do? I don't even have time to do anything. Look at Eric Snow, though. I never thought I'd run an A duo in this game, like efficiently or effectively. But the way Eric Snow defends, it's like I could run Gary. And running Gary and, you know, George Mikan's probably the better option. But as good as the Kembe Matumbo becomes, I don't know if it is. Like, I really don't know if it is. Like, this Eric Snow to Kembe duo is just something different. And I, I, people don't talk about it, but they should be. It is just so different. And then on offense, I mean, the Kembe can knock down threes. He can roll, get easy dunks. He can just do it all, and I love it. Charge? No. This offense I'm seeing is wild. This guy's getting blessed. We all know it, Dot. Come on, stop. You better play some defense if you're going to sit off ball because you're just sitting on Giannis and not even moving. I see it. I mean, it's a Dot every single time. Board. That's my fault. It's really my fault. Other oh, good. Look at look at look at goat baton. Ah, punish him. The Kenbe man. I don't know. Like I'll take the two points, but we gotta be. We got. I gotta get better at post moves. Something that if I got better at, I would literally be so much better on this game.
This is literally so boxed. Every single possession. On the on the Kembe is wild. Why would anybody ever go up with that? I don't have an answer to. That's a terrible, terrible take. I guess. I had him stunned and I didn't do anything with this. Bad by me. That's four. <laughs> okay, at least that was only three, but it's like. I'd be getting mad playing this game, man. It's the wrong icon. It's green, though. Please go in. Oh, my goodness, man. Like, oh, my goodness, man. Please go up on him. You score this, I... I don't even know what else to say. I am literally getting mashed in this mode. I thought mashing would be done in this mode. Oh, was I wrong? Just sits corner like this. Such lame defense. Thank you, Green. The defense is lame. It's not even good. Finally, I fried it. Thank you. Oh my gosh. At least this guy didn't like spend time doing settings and stuff, but I, I'm just getting mad. Like, why would anybody in their right? Nice rotation. Thank you for rotating up, Nicholas Batum. I love that rotation. You about, you know, made the play. Like, you about literally sold me. Oh my goodness. Hot blinders is crazy. Oh. Oh, yeah, shot clock's 14 seconds, so I got to do something, huh? Oh, hard end ended? Uh-oh. Y'all give up a three and lose here? I, I would just be sitting here so stunned. Charge. They called a block. I got seven seconds. No subs. Otherwise, it's sudden death. And then I don't, I don't even want to get into sudden death. Maybe I'll miss a free throw, and then I'll win. Because I really do not want to get involved in sudden death. It just does not sound fun to me. Alright, uh, y'all got y'all got seven seconds. I'm literally the best. I'm the best for that. Not only did I get a bucket, I got four. Now all y'all gotta do is protect the four-point line. And that's any anything in the corner is not a four-pointer. That's fine. That's three. Yeah, the game is over, man. I'll take the win. Honestly, I feel like I deserve Michael Red just for how that game ended. Like, I just gamed him for four. The sharpshooter pack, I mean, that's cool, I guess. I don't think anything's going to come of that. Even if you're not grinding for AI, you put yourself in position for AI as long as you just play the game, right? I'm just playing the game, not doing anything crazy, not doing anything extra. But I'm. you guys are going to see just my XP, my level go up, and so... If you even if you don't think you want to grind AI and then like switch your mind halfway through, you honestly can do that because you make a decent amount of XP by just playing the game. Also, this season is different than last season in the fact that like the Friday drop, at least last Friday, those do not expire. So like I'll go and show you like if you go in here to home, hopefully I don't have to do anything crazy. You guys can see some tokens, some packs, whatever it may be. You guys can see the season agenda is clutched. Uh, everything is everything says 39 days. Outside of the weekend challenges, which we obviously know, expire in 15 hours. Everything else really, it, I do not think expires. And so that's one thing to, that you guys need to keep in the back of your minds as well. Let's see what the Ruby card is here. Michael Finley. Like, okay, cool, I guess. Michael Finley is awesome. It's not a card I'm really ever going to use. Another Ruby here, Udonis has. This year, more than ever, I'm not saying the final reward is going to be worth it, but you get a lot for collecting cards. And so eventually on my road to 250K, it's going to be a whole other thing when I have to start collecting some cards, but I'm going to have to. I'm going to have to start collecting some cards, and that's just a grind in its own right. So, that, I mean, that's just going to be something that I'm going to have to do on that account at some point to just put myself in the best position for the 250K tournament. Out of all these are not necessarily the most fun thing to do, but again, you just don't want all these things to add up, and they kind of already are. Like, you guys can just see all these things that are adding up, and it's just like a lot of them are like uniforms, courts, jerseys, and so that's that's the thing. Like, you just 
don't want all those to add up and so you never feel like opening them up because i mean they are valuable they're cards to add to your collection so that's one thing i definitely recommend you guys is don't sit there and just let all these things add up because the last thing you want to do is have like over 500 of them and you have to sit here and spam x for like an hour like that that's not fun that's not what you want to do one thing i wish 2k added to the game was just like a way to open all your jersey packs and, and or just add them into your collection because for me to add my jerseys like it's just not very much fun for me plus for vertical i mean i don't know if that goes for much but it's not a bad uh, it's not a bad shoe boost at all so should be getting closing in on getting through all of these though which i mean is going to be nice once we do i might leave a few like i always do but then it's just annoying because they don't go anywhere they stay here and their stuff i eventually have to go and open up we do get a gold bulbul right there I wonder if bulbul actually goes for something because his name is bulbul i don't know i really am not sure all right let's see how many more we got because i'm getting tired yeah let's get to wrap it up uh for for us opening up packs for today building my unlimited lineup to head in there tomorrow let's see here honestly like what we got going in the starting lineup the eric snow and dikembe duo is one to stay so guys like john ja morant i'm sorry a lot of these guys i'm gonna just empty out some guys in my collection that we do need to go and put up so you guys are gonna see a lot probably changing on my account very you know very soon a lot of the mt type of stuff that i am going to make if any cards not in my lineup josh smith i know you were but you're not there to stay is gonna go up in the auction so it's just part of the way it's gonna have to be we are going to make some mt one thing i do need to do is when a good card comes out maybe buy them put all these hall of famers on him and then put them up for sale like a james harden type card maybe maybe some you know when a new like james harden type card comes out Something like that that I feel like I can make a little bit of MT on. So all these cards, even like a Matisse Stiebel, who I think is incredible, especially in limited. But I, I don't think they all have a purpose for me. So a lot of these cards are going to go up. And we will see what we look like as far as MT is concerned tomorrow. But that is going to wrap it up for our episode today, guys. Hopefully you did enjoy it. Just going to continue to grind Triple Threat Online, the clutch time mode as well as my team unlimited those are the three modes we're most focused on today hopefully you guys did enjoy the episode drop a like on the video subscribe if you are new and as always man i love you guys have a blessed day